But what Cameron and Christina have also done is to actually go into hotly contested war zones during active wartime in the Middle East. Now, how freaking cool is that? Yeah. through music and, and such a peaceful revolution <laughs> to take music and love songs and dance and to just bring that into these terrible war-torn areas of the world which is what you do this is basically your we've your been doing life. that with mm -hmm. Iraqi refugees in uh, Syria for a long time mm -hmm. where we could raise money to fund Iraqi musicians to teach Iraqi children the the beautiful musical yeah. and poetic aspects oh, their of their culture. own culture. Their own culture. <laughs> So worked with Iraqi refugee communities that happened to be in America. So tell me more about what your nonprofit, Musical Ambassadors of Peace, is doing with the female sex slaves of northern Iraq. This isn't political, this is musical. All of this is, is a love of music that just led you into, your music led you to the places that your beloved music came from. And That's, it just so happened that these areas are, are also areas where there's been lots of war going on. Yeah. And so just to be clear, this isn't political at all. This is just the love of music. It's not political at all. It's what gives us endurance that peace activists sometimes don't have because if you're a peace activist motivated by anger at the system and the war and so on mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know you can only carry that anger as a motivation for, so your, and for so long before you're gonna like oh my god I can't keep doing this mm -hmm. we took the anger yeah, out of it yeah, you know, we just began with the love yeah. and that's that really profound is the element of simply bringing love and music to areas that are challenged, <laughs> yeah. war-torn, sex slaves areas, and, and so that right there is really beautiful. And Musical Ambassadors of Peace is, this is the mission, it's the mission of Musical Ambassadors to take music and love songs into places that need it. And we take their own music to them. Yeah, not See, American love songs. We honor them mm -hmm. by saying, we know that you are beautiful people with your beautiful cultural traditions. And we we came to like learn from your ancient wisdom. And of course, by learning your love songs, we're going to get the feel of that and the words that go along with that. Yeah. And, uh, and they go, oh my God, no one ever showed up. Everyone who shows up to help us wants to, to teach us how to live life their way because they think they're going to bring their civilization to us. Well, i got to tell you something. If, if we're from Iraq, we're from the cradle of civilization. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't need you to come and tell us how to live life. We just need to be given some respite from this war zone. Some peace. And we're like, yeah, we know who you are. You're beautiful people with came from the cradle of civilization, and we actually need to learn from you. So we're starting by by learning your love songs. Let's sing them. And we start singing with it, and we 
you know, the singing goes on all day and all night and all the next day until, you know, we're like exhausted and we have to go curl up and rest somewhere. So now we've brought in Christina, and Christina, you are the, the co-creator of Musical Ambassadors of Peace, mm -hmm. and you are the partner to mm -hmm. Cameron, yeah. and both of you travel together yes. and go to these areas and mm -hmm. sing love songs. Mm -hmm. What inspires you to do all of this? Um, well, I think one thing is that I don't see it happening anywhere else, you know, or very rarely do I see people doing this kind of work. And we know the power of this work, so you have to do it, right? Will you explain <laughs> this kind of work? What is that? Um, building bridges between cultures through the power of music. So what happens is when you learn a piece of music that's dear to someone's heart, like within a minute of hearing you sing, mm -hmm. it's like they just their their heart just completely opens. What you have is you have this little magic key, mm -hmm. and it just goes right into their heart and opens it up, and they're um, completely uh, you you know they're they're just right there your friend for life, Invite, inviting you to meet their mother, their brother, their music teacher. Their you know. So you know the Arabic people on a much different level than most Americans. Yeah. yeah. You've been invited into their homes and yeah. become parts of their families. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it that motivates you to do this? Um, well, like I said, because it, it feels like we're uniquely qualified. And if we don't do it, um, mm -hmm. It's not going to get done. So it's your higher calling. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, and we want to share this with other Americans, other Europeans, other people from around the world. How simple. It's, it's something that's just mm -hmm. really, really simple. site Musical Ambassadors of Peace where you can go mm -hmm. and sign up to become a Musical Ambassador or apply to become a Musical Ambassador and we'll have the training program up and running very soon and we do have some uh, financial backing to help people with this. So it's your intention to sp spread Musical Ambassadors exactly. of Peace and to, to create more ambassadors so any of you that are interested in playing beautiful music from different cultures and sharing that music in these other cultures, this is the place to do it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Well, amazing <laughs> work, you two, and it's still going on strong and live, and so anybody that wants to become a part of Musical Ambassadors of Peace, become an ambassador, or to support the ambassador missions, please go to, what is your musicalambassadorsofpeace.org musicalambassadorsofpeace.org Thank you. Yeah,